Cinema Pro Live is now a Shock affiliate. Get 15% off using code Semi Pro Live for things like this and this. Before you make a purchase, you can use the Pfizer and choose between four major colors to make the best decision for you. Oh, and did you talk about the giveaway that they're sending? See you this weekend. Shock Sports. Go to shocksports.com. Enter code semi pro live. Get 15% off of your full order. We'll be right back after a short word. Semi pro live is now a shock affiliate. Get 15% off using code semi pro live for things like this and this. Before you make a purchase, you can even use the Pfizer visualizer and choose between your favorite colors and make the best decision on your purchase. Oh, and did we talk about the giveaways that they're sending? See you this weekend. Well, the Pitbulls uh, pregame ritual goes a little bit too long. Referee lets them know they have about 10 seconds to get on the field. And I'm glad they're a little bit tardy because I'm over here adjusting this instant replay box. And I'm struggling. Well, look, that'll be good enough. Who else has live instant replay? If mine's a little raggedy, you know. I'm not ESPN. Unless you guys give me enough money, I'll work on it. All things are possible with enough money from the viewers. Wait, uh, liking and sharing the page is free. Please like and share. Tell a friend. And our primary income is youth sports. So uh, if you're watching this and you're one of our kids or youth sports fans, I am not responsible for anything that you hear or see during the course of this broadcast. My bad, folks. 
Oh, we'll flip the screen real quick, get a, get a nice zoom in here. I got a specific request. They didn't want any more live ground footage. Talking about they couldn't see the passes. I don't think it was that they couldn't see the pass. We was finding out who wasn't blocking. People was getting exposed. But anyway, setting up for the kick, I don't have a roster, so the kicker getting ready for the kick. And we are live on the CJ Humphrey profile on Facebook, Semi Pro Live on YouTube. He said when he tuck in the shirt, he's going to kick the ball a little bit better. So, you know, bear with him. Hey, is there not a play clock on the kickoff? I, I assume not. Or maybe it's a little bit extra long at the beginning of the game. My favorite line, every time I talk to a referee and I'm on the field and stuff like this happens, I'm like, are we getting paid hourly out here? I don't know. They pay me per event. So, you know, if it ends early, I'm not necessarily upset with it with these refs you know they might be getting paid by the hour man this referee is this the kicker bro what is he doing back here he kissing he got a kiss the... i swear to god if this kick don't go over 40 yards i'm booing i'm a boo i got a boo Oh, my bad. I'm tripping. This is semi-pro. They're looking for someone to hold the down markers. <laughs> Long time tradition in amateur sports. I never understood why the referees didn't just hire two other guys to hire the chains and charge more. Well, anyway, next week, whatever field I'm at, I'm going to bring two kids... I'm going to bring three kids to hold the chains. Y'all can pay me $50. You know, we'll go from there. Anyway, getting ready for the kick. We've got the down markers. And the kick. Oh, okay. Well, he, he put a little bit on there. I guess that was almost worth the wait. He didn't put it out the back. Some solid blocking. And it'll be returned to about the 30-yard line. We'll have the East Texas Crusaders with the ball first. Your quarterback is going to be former professional baseball player Tyler Bates. He was in the Los Angeles Angels system back in the day. Currently the wide receiver coach. Well, excuse me, he's a baseball coach at East Texas Baptist. Players to watch, you'll have... DG, number three, playing receiver, but he'll be all over the field. He'll try to get some position, some carries at running back. Shotgun formation, even formation. And we've got an early whistle here. And the center and the quarterback aren't on the same page. We got an early whistle. Don't know if I see a flag, per se. Well, the last time the Pitbulls were the number one team, were in position to be the number one team in the league, I was the head coach. <laughs> That's TUFL history way back. You know, you got to really know your pit bull history to know that. Dang, somebody got charged up on the field. Uh, it sounds like Perk's voice. That sounds like a Perk comment. And the snap hands it off to the back, going straight up the middle, finds a little bit of a gash. And that'll be a good start on the drive. He'll pick up about eight yards on first down. Look what, hey, nah, nah, look, look, I'll put you on camera. Now look where the down marker at. Look where the down marker at. That's about three yards, right? 
I'm impartial. <laughs> Just because I'm funny doesn't mean I'm not impartial. <laughs> and the next snap coming straight through. Oh, and a solid stop by the front for the pit bulls as the outside linebacker and defensive end on that left-hand side were able to get penetration early. What? Let's get a replay of that. Now, I'll admit, guys, some of these replays are just going to be because I have the ability to do a replay. replay so we can actually see who jumped early let's see let's get a look at who jumped early and no there was nobody on the offense that moved on that last one that was the from the defense oriented the right hand defensive end got a little bit jumpy and got an early start but they put that one against the offense it's going to be third down and about six yards and this is gonna give the pit bulls a chance to get off the field here on third down. They'll pick up two penalties, and that's gonna make this. It's gonna go from being third down and three to third down and twenty. And the game of football is a game of discipline, and if you don't have it, it'll cost you dearly. Shotgun formation: four receivers, two on each side, and one running back in the backfield. DG. On the play side of the ball, all the way at alpha receiver, takes the snap. Tyler on the run, he's got pressure immediately, gets the ball out, finds a receiver. That's gonna be close to the first down. I don't know if he got it, but he's gonna pick up a lot of space with that one. And that's gonna bring it up to fourth down and manageable. He's gonna need about fourth and about four yards. Let's get an instant replay of that. We'll have to let it run through again. Tyler just does a good job of staying with that one. My bad, folks. I haven't had instant replay in a couple of weeks, so I'm late on it. I'm at the press it immediately. The offensive line definitely is going to have to tighten up this next play. Tyler at quarterback. It's fourth down. Fighting to get off the field, and it's a little interesting. They could have punted this one away. Tyler gets flushed, finds a man, and that would have been enough for the first down, but they can connect. Let's watch that one again. And we just watched Tyler gets pressure, and these defensive ends are getting up the field. The right defensive end gets pressure, touches Tyler on the shoulder, and that just made him a little bit uncomfortable. Well, while they're changing possessions, let's get a word from Shock Sports. All right, folks, we're back. Big shout out to Shock Sports. Use code Semi Pro Live to get 15% off your full order. Make sure you like and share the page and broadcast. All right, Bull Pit Bulls with the football. They're in a pistol formation, hands it off. They're gonna run it straight up the middle. And the Crusaders line is fired up, but that's a solid gain on first down. That's gonna give them about four yards. It's gonna bring up second down and about six. And if I'm the pit bulls, don't listen to the sidelines. Stick to this rushing game. <laughs> Pistol formation. Takes the snap, hands it off, fakes it. Oh, confusion by the quarterback. Justin's gonna lob one up and he throws that one out of bounds. And hopefully he got out the pocket, or so that's going to be a penalty for grounding. 12 minutes 
19 seconds and the clock is still running. I'm, that's a little curious because that was an incomplete pass. The clock should be stopped. But uh, 12, we're ticking down to the 12 minute mark. Pistol formation, takes the snap, scans the field, lets it go, finds his man, and can't complete the pass. Put it what? Oh, somebody call him a phone. My bad, folks. I was going to give you an instant replay, but somebody called my other phone. Yeah. You said what? Turner, tell her number two Turner. We were there last week. Tell her Channing Humphrey Semi Pro Live was there last week. All right. Sorry, folks. That was my new partner, Tim. He's over. We got two TUFL games going simultaneous right now. Uh, we've got over at Arlington Heights, the Commanders go. I don't actually I don't even know who the Commanders are playing. I just took the money. The Commanders are playing somebody over at Heights. We'll get that information here momentarily. Let's it go. Nice. Oh, interception. Big time mistake. We'll have a word from Shock. We'll be right back. Semi Pro Live is now a Shock affiliate. Get 15% off using code Semi Pro Live to think like this. And this. Before you make a purchase, you can even use the Pfizer Visualizer and choose between your favorite colors and make the best decision for your purchase. Oh, um, and did you talk about the good clothes that they're selling? Uh, speaking of the substantial. There. You know what's. You know what's crazy? There's a dude who runs the seven on seven in Central Texas, like around Waco, named Eric Stansky. You know? You might know. I feel like I was at a time. He's a douchebag. Y'all have a time. Like two times I've seen all there at premier events. He's always at the premier event. Anytime they're in Central Texas, that's where he's at. Uh, my bad, folks. I'm trying to set up this essay replay. I'm just talking and stuff. Anyway, we got Crusaders back to shotgun formation. Four wide receivers. Takes the snap. Dumps it down to number zero. All right. All right, folks. Sorry about that. Had to get your instant replay going again. I do. I do. We got highlight tapes going for $20. 4K copies. If you need 4K copies of the, uh, of the game, then just get with me after the game. If your husband or family member didn't have that good of a game, you know, I, I just recorded. I don't perform magic. Tyler runs out the pocket. Oh, throws a rocket. Finds a man right in the middle of the field. Puts a move on him. Still on his feet. Big time catch. Let's see that again. And look at this footwork just to keep the play alive. None of his receivers were open initially. And Tyler just does what Tyler does. Gets out the pocket and throws a rocket on the run. Big time throw and catch. We got a little bit of stripes. A little bit of stripes. Also, shout out to Max Sporting Goods. Use special code SEMIPROLIVE to get 10% off your full order at MaxSportingGoods.com. Takes the snap in the air. Just out the range of DG. Well, it has been a while since I've been in semi-pro. Uh, when I left, I kept telling DG that he needed to play running back for us to win. Now we're so old that if he played running back, he probably can't win. <laughs> You can, just not the whole game. You know, we all, you over 30, you can only take so many hits. That applies to your kids too. My son Drip is not playing any uh, youth football right now. We'll get to some big man action. 
starting next week with Texas Sports. Takes the snap, hands it off to Darius Lawson up the middle. Let's see that one again. And the line did a good job of getting on him early. Darius is one of those rushers where you need to get him early in the play before he can get his momentum going. And the real key to them getting that stop right there is the first man who made contact never let him go. Shotgun formation trips receivers to the play side, bottom side of the screen. Larson's going to move to the right-hand side. They're expecting a blitz from that outside linebacker. And then a last minute change by Bates. Takes the snap, falls back, balls in the air. And he got it in his hands. Good defense by the cornerback to stay with that one and fight that one off. Well, while they're in between plays, let's get a quick word from Shock Sports. Semi Pro Live is now a shock affiliate. Get 15% off using code Semi. All right, back to the action. Lawson at running back, Bates at quarterback, four wide receivers, quad formation. Last minute adjustment by the quarterback. He'll take the snap, falls back, scans the field. Initial pressure, steps up in the pocket and unable to connect with his receiver. Let's go ahead and get a replay of that. And that's an example of the pressure just affecting the play. And that's gonna be a turnover on downs in the red zone. And what's surprising about that is that the Crusaders have a decent field goal kicker. So it's a little, I mean, I guess, you know, you do it how you want to. Well, let's see if we got some uh, comments from the folks at home. We got Dwayne Hackins, Junior, fat boy can throw. Mike Cotton, you're not playing today. Two live on track. What's the other live on the other live? Is on Tim's. Go, Frank, get your ass Frank. Frank. No. Tim, that used to play with the Avengers, it's on his phone. I didn't have enough time to set it up. He's live on Facebook right now. I'm going to share that live as soon as we get to halftime. We're live in two places. We're going to start doing two games each week of semi pro every night at seven. So tune in for adult football every Sunday night. Oh, man. Dang, Dwayne, why you feel like he gonna throw, why you feel like he gonna throw FOMO picks, man? It's the first quarter. Still got five minutes and 42 seconds left. Justin Hughes at quarterback, takes the snap, drops it down. Man, I don't know, hold up, man, I gotta zoom in, man. God damn, Justin got huge. That is a huge individual out there. Uh, God. You know what's crazy? I used to block for him, man. That look like that'll hurt. I'm just saying, in my old age, I can't block for people that we the same size, you know what I'm saying? You could run into the back of my ankles and then it's over. I got skinny legs. Justin out here living every lineman's dream. How am I supposed to tell my son he can't play quarterback you out here doing this, Justin? Shotgun formation, running back in the backfield. Justin looks to his right. He's going to run it, and he's tangled up immediately, and he'll go down for the sack. Let's get a replay of that. Let's see where the pressure came from. And the pressure comes right up the middle. The defensive tackles are able to get some pressure right in the quarterback's face. 
Now the difference in that one is a younger Justin, he was able to flush out the side of the pocket and it just it doesn't look like he has that ability anymore. We'll go on to the next play, third down. Still third down and manageable with the sack. He didn't lose too much yardage. It's gonna be about five yards to convert this one. Very convertible ball. And I really wish they would have went for it. They should think about going with a run play right here. This is four down territory if you're trying to convert this. Oh, and they're gonna get a free one. Let's see what the referee has to say about this one. Off, oh, that's gonna go against the defense and that's gonna be a first down for the Pitbulls. First down Pitbulls after the penalty. Now, one of the things, while the Crusaders have been doing very well since they're undefeated right now, but the Crusaders aren't very deep in numbers. So as this game goes on, it could be a war of attrition, and they want to make sure they get off the field and don't waste time on drives like this one. Justin takes the snap. He's going to run it. This is what I like about Justin's game. Big time hit, but that's going to be... First down, and let's get a replay of that. Good job by the left tackle to get on that defensive end. And that one's gonna have to, I'm gonna have to add that one to the defensive end, the right play side defensive end on that one. If he had been a little bit more disciplined, he would have been right in position to make that stop. Watch here as he takes a step to the inside and has to work his way back outside. That's gonna be the reason why Justin only gets it by about a foot, but he gets the first down. We'll flip the camera, make it a little bit easier for me to zoom in. And the snap, Justin pitches it. Blows his ass up. Let's get an instant replay. And, I, and I'm going to tell you why. I absolutely hate this play. That is not a football play. Nobody is doing that. It, it's like a half-ass option. And I'm gonna put this one, this one's on Justin's fault right here because Justin doesn't take any steps before he pitches that ball. He basically got the snap and pitched it to his running back. They didn't put any pressure on the defensive end or the linebacker. And they just got to sit there and wait and blow up the running back. You cannot run option football like that. Well, I'm glad I have instant replay because now I can actually explain what I'm talking about instead of just sounding like a hater. Shotgun formation. Takes the snap. Ball's in the air. Great coverage by number 22, 23. And it looks like they're thinking about going for it on fourth down. Justin does have the ability to punt. Yeah, we got the replays, man. I'm not just out here capping, man. I'm going to go ahead and show you the place. When I'm telling you that it's a certain player messing up your play, I'm actually looking at it twice, man. And the snap. Big time throw and catch by Justin. As that's going to get a first down for the Pit Bulls. And on fourth down, everything on the line, back up against his own end zone. Justin just sits back in the pocket and throws his team into a first down. It's live on Tim's, face, on Tim's Facebook or Texas Elite. At halftime, I'm going to get the other live and share it on the... Uh, Let's get another look at that, man. Hey, in this instant replay, this instant replay is live. We can actually see what happened. And the running back's coming through clean. 
And oh, he coughed that one up. He was nowhere near down. And East Texas Crusaders take that one over. Let's get another look at that. And they're going to measure it. Hey, that was a turnover. Shouldn't be no measure. All right, folks, we are back to the action. I can only replay it so many times, man. Every time I replay it, the quality of the image goes down, so it just gets more and more pixelated. I try to let that joint go maybe like one, maybe three times, but... I'm trying to sell this, you know? I want somebody who does youth sports to be like, oh, Channing got replayed, and I'm going to charge them. He caught that one up straight up. I got to run after the kids when I do in the youth sports. Don't be too impressed with my weight loss. I thought I had cancer for a little bit, so I started, you know what I'm saying? When, you're, when you think you're going to die, that'll make you lose some weight. I don't think you deserve credit for it. <laughs> I'm just happy to be here. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay don't be impressed now next summer i might pump, bust out here shirtless <laughs> shotgun formation tyler at running i mean tyler at quarterback 22 in the backfield at running back takes the snap oh going for the taking a shot Now this is one thing that the Crusaders do struggle with. Tyler is a good pass. They've, they've got some good receivers and they're a veteran group. So they tend not to ease their way into the passing game. And what I mean by that is they'll come out and they'll throw a whole bunch of deep balls and then try to fill in the mid-range passing game later, which leads to these long scoring droughts. When, you know, maybe if they hopped into the game, threw a couple of mid-range passes, did a couple of hitches, just get the receivers involved, I think it'll just make their offense run a little bit smoother, but we'll have a quick word from Shock Sports. We'll be right back. Semi-Pro Live is now a Shock affiliate. Get 15% off using code Semi-Pro Live for things like this and this. Before you make a purchase, you can even use the Pfizer Visualizer and choose between your favorite colors and make the best decision on your purchase. Oh, and did we talk about the giveaways that they're sending? See you this weekend. All right, folks, we are back. Uh, beginning of the second quarter, 15 minutes to go, zero to zero ball game. The battle for number one in the TUFL. We'll get some comments from the folks at home here. Second down and 10. Takes the snap. Hand oh, magician with it, hands it off. Great play by the corner. And that's just uh, got a man down. Looks like he's able to get up. Let's get a replay on that one. I'm going to give the pit bulls some credit on that play simply because of the fact they have been running mostly deep passes. So the fact that these corners stayed aware and close to the line of scrimmage is a compliment to them and their awareness. So he was right there when, when the opportunity came. Jonathan, I am retired. Fat guy with the camera. I believe my nine-year-old is better than me right now, so I'm just going to let him have it. He, he top dog. He got it. Uh -huh. 
We got a timeout. Wait, well, I got some attention. You know, I always like uh, showing off, showing off my son. So, let's see what we got. We got a highlight. Some of the players out here. It's a coach that was talking noise when we was playing when we was playing youth football. That's because his kids ain't know I used to smoke you when we was out here on the on the semi-pro field. But you know, I'm gonna let you make it because you're working with the kids right now. <laughs> you know who you are, you seen me when you walked in. <laughs> Takes the snap. Okay. Oh shit. Oh, oh. Right now. Matter of fact, I'm gonna go ahead and be salty. It's one of them Timberwolves coaches. It was real salty during the season when my son was shredding them, but what did you expect when I shredded you in semi-pro? You knew my son was gonna do the same as DNA. <laughs> Good play, and this defense for the Pitbulls has been showing up all day today. And both defense, both offenses are gonna have to get a little bit more creative with their play selection. Pistol formation. Takes the shotgun snap. Tyler lets it go to the middle of the field. Dangerous pass. Put it right on his receiver, but with that tip drill, almost allowed the safety to get involved in that play. Hey, Justin, where are you playing at, man? Get a replay of that one. And I'm gonna tell you what the problem is, is they're not running any, they're not running any coverage beating routes right now. They're running routes where they're trying to out athlete the other team and, and right now it's just not working for them. They need to calm down. They need to run some concept set plays and get this offense back rolling. And what I mean by that is like, just come out and run a flood concept. Come out and run all stops. Come out and run slants. <laughs> I don't know what that last play was, but every receiver was over 20 yards down the field and they're just not making the job easy for Tyler. And that's why he's ended up holding onto the ball for so long. And I'm not gonna blame the receivers. These routes aren't routes that you just break and are open immediately. Right up the middle, solid run. Yeah, that is true. They need more out of their running game. 
but that goes into the politics of semi-pro. You got a lot of mouths to feed. Their team has a lot of, of good running backs, but they're really built to be a passing team. So that's part of the difficulty. They got Lawson in the backfield. They're in the red zone. I'm going to expect a heavy dose of double zero here. Takes the snap. And they're going to say he didn't make it. Hey, it's so, I don't know. I can't look. I'm not going to say Dave gets his plays from Pee Wee because a lot of those plays aren't from Pee Wee. I didn't see that out of Pee Wee. <laughs> if, this is, if these are Pee Wee plays, it, it, look, while I'm talking to a semi pro audience, man, if you got kids in Pee Wee and your team is still running the damn wing tee, you need to question who you got coaching your kids. Like, why are you learning the wing tee for 10 years to go to high school and get in shotgun and never do wing tee again? Most, most of the places where you are in America, you go play Pee Wee football, they're gonna go teach you 1970s football. Takes the snap, falls back. Pressure coming around the outside. Tyler on the run. And a short game before he's down. Let's get a look at that one. And the pressure has been affecting Tyler in this game. The offensive line had played better in the, the three previous games that I'd had the chance to film for them. The line is going to have to wake up, bite down on the mouthpiece, and, and keep some of this pressure off of that quarterback. Very talented quarterback if you give him enough time. And that's really the issue. Tyler can't really go in the Mike Vick mode. You know, father time waits for nobody. If this was five, ten years ago, he could just do it himself. He needs that line to keep him clean so he can get to these receivers. Takes the snap. Good blocking by the line, but now pressure on him. Gets the ball off. And it's caught. Big time catch by DG. Let's see it again. And look at the pressure in his face. Pressure comes right up the middle on Tyler. He stays calm. He takes some contact. And he finds DG at the end of that play. Great catch by Delenzia. We're going to move after this play. And Lawson in for the touchdown. I'll be right back. All right, <clears throat> excuse me. All right, we're back after that short word from Shock Sports. Commanders with the touchdown. Well, excuse me, not Commanders, Crusaders with the touchdown. Score six to zero. Takes the snap, pump fakes, and finds a man in the middle of the field. They'll get the two-point conversion, eight to zero. East Texas Crusaders in the lead. Black will be right back. A quick word from Shock. Pro Live is now a Shock affiliate. Get fifteen percent off using code Semi Pro Live for things like this and this. Before you make a purchase, you can even use the Pfizer Visualizer and choose between your favorite colors to make the best decision on your purchase. Oh, and did we talk about the giveaways that they're sending? See you this weekend. All right, folks, we are back. Pitbulls preparing for the kickoff. 
You're watching Semi Pro Live. We're live on YouTube on the Semi Pro Live page, and we're live on Facebook under the CJ Humphrey profile. This is a simulcast. We are live at Arlington Heights High School under the Tim Jones profile for a big time matchup between the Commanders and whoever the hell they're playing. I, I never got that information. Crusaders take a early lead. Score is eight to zero. <laughs> Eight minutes, 22 seconds left to go. Now, I will say this. They've been cheating them on the clock the entire game because that clock just stopped running right now. <laughs> we'll flip this and zoom in. And the kick. Oh, uh, we want the crowd noise. It's all good. And he gets blown up. Let's get a replay of that. Honda didn't block nobody. I'm gonna be honest, man. We some of these wide receivers gotta get their blocking skills up. I bet not see you on the youth field yelling at the cookie kid in the block after this block. What kind of block is that? What is that? All right, all right. Somebody, baby, mom getting pulled. You know what I'm saying? Let's see. Let's see. Whose baby mama's disease? Back to the action. I gotta keep myself entertained somehow. Eight minutes, 15 seconds left to go here in the half. And it looks like there's a penalty on the play. They gonna start near midfield. And we're gonna slide down a little bit, excuse me. going to be no game. Let's get a replay of that one. And it's just been the penetration by the front line on both sides. Both offensive lines are struggling right now. Bulls with the football, shotgun formation, Justin Hughes at quarterback. That man, that running back just looks so small standing next to him. That shit is crazy. Across the middle of the field and nearly intercepted. I mean, as, as a secondary person, you can't be that bad when you miss an interception. That's why you're playing defense. You can't catch. That's why you over there. For the people who are real fast and strong that can't catch the football, you put them at secondary. And when they catch it every once in a while, we call it an interception. Anyway, let's get some comments from the folks back at the crib. Oh, we missed a lot of comments. Somebody said they got 100 on the pit bulls. Well, Raynell Douglas has put 100 on the pit bulls on Semi Pro Live. And hey, we need to start a new Semi Pro gambling hub. You know, you can just cash at me. I'll just charge you a 3%. I'll make sure your money is safe. Think about it, I work with kids. I'm an official vendor with Fort Worth ISD. They said they need Daniel Spencer. Easy two, two touchdowns. Oh, Tev, looks like Tevin locked in with the $100 bet. So we've got live evidence of the lock-in $100 bet. Now, I want to know, whoever just bet $100, are you actually on the pit bulls or are you at the game? and watching the live and gambling and all at the same time. Questions we need answered. Shotgun formation. Bro, this running back next to this quarterback is crazy. And he'll launch it away. Let's see if that's intentional grounding. Yeah, 
chill out, bro. <laughs> I appreciate it. Okay. Well, six minutes and 36 seconds. Well, while I'm doing going through these comments, let's have a quick word from Shock Sports. Semi Pro Live is now a Shock affiliate. Get 15% off using code Semi Pro Live for and this. Hey, 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 hey. Before you make a purchase, you can use the Pfizer visual <laughs> and choose between your favorite colors and make the best decision on your all right, we are back after that timeout. People still with the football shotgun formation. Well, correction, Pitbulls don't have the football. Crusaders with the football. Three receivers to the right hand side. And the snap hands it off to the back, makes a move. Oh, a great run right there on first down and the rugby scrum. I feel like that was a little bit of an early whistle. The line was getting a little bit of movement there. Oh, yeah. This is the formation. Second down and about two yards. Takes the snap. Intercepted. And the Pit Bulls take over possession. Big time play. Five minutes, 33 seconds left to go here in the half. That was said on the interception. Well, I don't know what's going on over here, but we'll take a quick commercial break because uh, might as well pay bills while they argue. Semi Pro Live is now a shock affiliate. Get 15% off using code Semi Pro Live for things like this and this. Before you make a purchase, you can even use the Pfizer Visualizer and choose between your favorite colors and make the best decision on your purchase. Oh, and did we talk about the giveaways that they're sending? See you this weekend. We just came out here with his own personal security detail. Look at this. All right, I see you, big dog. Look, that's how you know you're important. He came in with his own security. I thought this was the stadium security. They came out here for crime. All right, well, you know. Let's get back to the action. Shotgun formation. Justin at quarterback. Takes the snap. Pressure on Justin. And he's just not handling the pressure well. And that might have been a fumble. Let's see the replay. And what I don't like about Justin in the pocket is he's spending too much time thinking about the pass rush. 
his eyes should have been downfield. He was already looking to scramble before the pass rush even really got close to him. And that's the end results right there. Let's see it again. He's got people all over his back. Right? Hey, look. The clock running out here has been crazy right now. I know I'm at 55 minutes of filming time right now. We're just now getting to halftime, so, you know. We're gonna definitely be out here for two hours. I'm gonna start charging by the hour if y'all can't get these clocks right there. Just saying. Oh, nice move on the outside. You got a block. I don't know why you can look. I'm gonna show you the replay. So you over here out here crying, talking about y'all want me to do what? You got a block. Make a block. Make a block. <laughs> Let's watch the replay again. You, you got to make the block, homie. I'm going to show you who's mad. This is the receiver right here, but you got you got to make that block, man. It's a hitch route. If you don't make that block, the hitch route does, it, it can't make that play. Shotgun formation. Justin is taking too much time in the pocket. Dumps it down to a running back. And I'm going to be honest, he's just got to make a quicker decision. That's four seconds in the pocket. I mean, a quarterback should only be expecting to get three and a half seconds. You're spending four seconds. Either your receivers aren't getting open or you just got to be more decisive with the football. And I always said, this is a thing, Justin's got a lot of arm talent, he's a good athlete. But he's really trying to throw the ball to the receivers. And what I mean by that, I don't think he's actually throwing the ball when the route is breaking open. He's actually looking downfield and trying to see who's open during the play, and that's not really the art of playing quarterback. The art of playing quarterback is you know all the routes of all the receivers and you know exactly when they're going to break open, exactly where they're going to be at on the field, and that's how you get the timing. Got a flag. Looks like there's a, some kind of flag on the play. Pitbulls are going to gain some yardage. This may have gotten them a first down. Well, in a small story, this is the first time that I've been at a semi-pro football game at Dunbar since the, what was it, the National Championship Tarantulas was playing, the Pitt was playing the DFW Panthers, and the Panthers fought each other, and somebody got care flighted right there, right from the parking lot. That was the ball, wide open, man. Let's see that again. And look at the difference. He throws this ball right on time when his receiver breaks open. Look at that timing. He held on to the ball for about two and a half seconds. Soon as the receiver was breaking open, he let that one go. And that's the difference between that pass play and the previous two. A way more decisive with the football on that play. All right, let's get some more comments from the folks at home. Pitbulls are not getting killed. It's eight to zero. Very competitive game so far. You guys can't just assume the pit bulls are getting killed because they the pit bulls. That's rude, man. Come on now. It's 2024. Shit changes, man. <laughs> Takes the snap, hands it off to the back. They've got to get some blocking there up front in this rushing game. Yeah, that offensive line is looking pretty bad right now.
Shotgun formation. Justin at quarterback takes the snap, falls back, pressure. He just gets pressure immediately. Well, one minute and 42 seconds until halftime. One forty two left to go here until halftime. There's going to be a flag on the play. And the I got all my extra stuff downloaded. Well, anyway, we're in Fort Worth, Texas, home of the Free Game Podcast. Check it out on Facebook, a Free Game Podcast. Coming on this Sunday, we're going to have a special Easter edition. Let's see that one again. Great play made by Justin. Well, for those of you wondering, my name's Channing Humphrey. I'll be over commentary and camera work. And if you're watching the broadcast and you're looking for highlights, that's the number for Cash App. That's the number for Apple Pay. Semi-Pro Live on Cash App, $20. We'll get all your highlights done. Terrible, terrible play right there. And I, I, I'm willing to forgive him. That looks like that's a wire receiver right there. They just not used to getting the ball in that part of the field. <laughs> 36 seconds left to go here until halftime. Got an eight-point difference, and the Pit Bulls are in range to tie this one up before halftime. But while we have a chance to give a shout-out to some of our sponsors, big shout-out to Under Armour, Under the Lights Flag Football. You can catch us out there in the Trophy Club branch. We'll be bringing all the action on Thursdays and Fridays, a field near you. Big shout-out to Raising Cane's Chicken Fingers of Euless, Texas. I don't have a discount. They just let me have free stuff from time to time. So, <laughs> go get you some chicken. And the free game podcast live from Texas Elite Training and Development in Forest Hill, Texas. Check out all the youth sports action. Recap everything that's been going on in the youth sports world on the free game podcast. Tune in. And also, if you got a kid who's training, Texas Elite, Forest Hill, Texas.
And all right, let's get back to the action. Shotgun formation, Justin at quarterback, 36 seconds. He's got about enough time to get maybe three plays. And that might be in the area of a 10 second runoff. We're under a minute here, so that should be a 10 second runoff. If that's against. Watch him not do the 10 second runoff. That's a 10 second runoff. <laughs> hey, I get paid per event. <laughs> Not per hour. <laughs> if we want to swap it up, you know, I'll stay out here all night. <laughs> Takes the snap. Falls back. He rolls. Oh, off of his receiver. Oh, I think he... Hold on. We got the instant replay. Let's see it again. And he got that. Let's see the instant replay here. And I almost couldn't see it because of the tent. He got both toes down in a very, very athletic play. Let's watch it again. What's your health podcast? I'm your On Facebook, CJ Humphrey. And on YouTube, Semi Pro Live. All right, folks, and that is a big turn of events, 33 seconds. That's going to give Tyler, who's got a big arm, three chances to get this ball down the field. 33 seconds, brief history. The quarterback for the Crusaders, former uh, out, well, is it shortstop? Former shortstop in the Atlanta, not in Atlanta, in the L.A. Angels minor league program. And he's the current, he's a current baseball coach and wide receiver coach at East Texas Baptist. He takes the snap. He gets pressured, and that pressure's been a problem all night. And they get him down. And let's see if they decide to take another shot. Tyler getting up slow. Now, hey man, can we get? I want to know if we can get together with the person with the tent. Can we take that down? It's just all in the way. It ain't no rain coming tonight. You know, we just got this tent up here for no reason. We trying to get highlights going and stuff. Hey, jump in the inbox. Semi Pro Live. We everywhere. I got some other cameramen. We can get you on live. We're doing a simulcast right now. Let's go ahead and get the rest of these comments going. Just inbox me, big dog. I got you. Hey, chill out, bro. RJ is going to stay on the sideline after halftime. All right, folks, we will be back. What's up, big dog? Semi Pro Live is now a shock affiliate. Get 15% off using code Semi Pro Live for things like this and this. Before you make a purchase, you can even use the Pfizer Visualizer and choose between your favorite colors and make the best decision on your purchase. Oh, and did we talk about the giveaways that they're sending? See you this weekend.
All right, folks, we are back from halftime. Uh, the referees need to figure out the game because we don't get paid hourly. Hey, what's going on, man? I'm gonna start charging extra for all these little stoppages and shit, man. Fuck. Hey, now I will say this, and youth sports they usually pay the refs at halftime. They might be on some stuff like we ain't coming until we get our bread. <laughs> The refs, hey, the refs got to get paid at halftime and say he's coming back. <laughs> hey, man, they've been through a lot. <laughs> if you've been watching the news, yeah, they for real, the refs ain't going to finish the game unless they get all their bread at halftime. Just in case you fight, they got to make sure that they already got their money. <laughs> Well, you know, last last time I was at this field, it was uh, it was the Desoto Tarantulas versus the DFW Panthers. The tra Panthers don't exist anymore. And in the third quarter, they were winning by one point. And two brothers, one turned to the other brother, took off his helmet and punched him in the face with it. And then they just started knocking each other out. And they had a whole fight. It was a whole mob fight. They was just knocking each other out. It was crazy. And then they had to call Care Flight. It was. Probably the worst case scenario. I've seen more fights at youth sports games than at semi pro. <laughs> well, hey, while we have a second, let's give some uh, love to the sponsors. Big shout out to Kane's Chicken of Euless, Texas, right off of 121. If you're in the area, stop on by. Tell them semi-pro live sent you. Maybe they'll give me some coupons or something. Uh, if you're looking for non-contact football, you've got Under Armour Under the Lights series live from Trophy Club, Texas. Leagues forming for the spring season right now as we speak. Check them out. Go to maxsportinggoods.com. Enter code semi-pro live. You'll get 15% off your full order. And we'll be right back after a quick word Pro from Shock. Live is now a Shock affiliate. Get fifteen percent off using code Semi Pro Live for things like this and this. Before you make a purchase, you can even use the Pfizer Visualizer and choose between your favorite colors to make the best decision on your purchase. Oh, and did we talk about the giveaways that they're sending? See you this weekend. All right, folks, we got referees. Let them know, ref, you had to get your money. They don't come back after halftime. Now, depending on how they've been refereeing, they might have been counting the money. We don't know. You know what I'm saying? The math skills have definitely been off today out here. After they made us wait for the referees, they can't make no more mistakes or everybody's talking noise. And the kick. It's a good kick. Drives them back deep. And that one might be into the end zone. And that's going to be a... Is it going to be a touchback or is it out before the end zone? They might be... Oh, it looks like they're going to get it at the 35. Excuse <laughs> me. Right, you gotta look. You see that phone? That's my instant replay. You gotta turn that sideways. You gotta be on full screen. Just like that. Wow. Looks like they're gonna re kick this one.
here. Plug that phone up. Well, I should have just enough battery to finish this mission here. Drag it. Bro, leave that alone. Let's put it down. Very physical. And here goes the replay. You know what? Nobody told I even got my logo up in the corner. My bad, man. Make sure you know what you're watching. This is Semi Pro Live, live from Fort Worth, Texas. Dunbar, the location. Shotgun formation, Justin at quarterback. And the snap. Drops it down to his running back. What is he doing? Ah, it's a fish. I don't like this running back. It's nothing personal. He might be a great person. I just don't like him at running back. I like my running backs going north to south, and he does a lot of east-west for me real quick. You know? Stick your foot in the ground and get some yardage. That was an easy five to eight yard game, but he's only gonna get two because of the dancing. Takes the snap, throws it down to his receiver. Hey, they've got to get some blocking over here. Number 19, and let's look at this replay. Number 19's got to make this block for this play to be successful. And he just doesn't get the job done. Just look at the body language on that. Like, come on, dog. You got to give more. Are we trying to win, or are we just out here trying to win a uniform? Wear a uniform, you know? Like, what is that? Let's go, third down. It's going to be third down in about six. Well, let's add in some more comments. If you're looking for the Commanders game, it is live under Tim Williams on Facebook. I just I shared his profile into the DFW Uncut group. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Nah, I don't know. I thought y'all was talking about the referees thing. Hey, press that button on the side of there. Takes the snap, hands it off, and 
nothing doing there. Defensive line for the Pitts hold strong. And the reception is caught by number zero. That'll be good for another first down. And the Crusaders are starting to get a little bit of momentum now. And the offense is just, they got, they need, I'm gonna be honest, sometimes you gotta go back and you gotta just script your plays. And they may need to come out scripted for the first five plays of the next offensive possession because they're leaving a lot of pressure on this defense. It's been on the field a lot today. Eight to zero. And the snap. Hey, can we take the tent down? We can't see the corner catches. We're killing the highlights. It ain't gonna rain. Please. Hey, somebody on the pit bulls, can y'all take down the tent? Please? Hey, can y'all take down the tent? Please? I can't get the corner catches. I try to be polite. It's not even rain, and that joint about to blow away. It's gonna blow away if they don't move it either way, you know what I'm saying? Go! Big time sack by the Pit Bulls. Let's see it again. Shotgun formation and blocking has been a real problem for the Crusaders today. Hands it off to Lawson right up the middle. And it looks like he loses his helmet again. At this point, I'm convinced that he just doesn't buckle it so it looks cool when it flies off. But you know, to each his own. They'll rotate out the running back. Here comes number 22, same formation. And that'll bring up fourth down. And here's the crazy part. They've got a pretty good field goal kicker over there. Uh, doesn't look like they're in any type of mood to kick the ball, though. <laughs> Excuse me. Bruh. 
bro you feel me man got this tent out here for no reason just disturbing the view and then they all crowded underneath it like they getting shade from something man I'm just it's crazy I'm gonna show you this. oh and then they get them on the sack he's slow getting up hold on he's still down and he eventually gets up but let me show you this tent that I'm talking about, bro. What is this tent out here for, bro? Hold on, let's look up in the air. It's not even cloudy no more, man. It ain't no clouds up here or nothing, bro. And then I look over here. I look over here immediately, and it's like, and then they underneath the tent. Like, what is this? What are you being protected from? Look at this. This must be that end zone VIP section, like when you go to the Cowboys Stadium. And you know, if I, if you paid a little bit extra for that tent service, let me shut up. You know what I'm saying? I don't. My mama taught me better than to talk on another black man's money. You know, RJ might be getting paid. He a, he a true hustler in every sense of the word. So I'm gonna just mind my business. But I'm like, I, I they done messed up like three plays, three plays. I'm. This was tricked me out. The people who are under the tent, like. Is it the, you know, it might be allergic to non-natural light or something. Who knows? Let me not pass judgment. Yeah, James, that line, and this is one of their worst performances. I've, I've been at pretty much every, actually, I've been at all of their games this season for the Crusaders. Except for one. Well, he finally goes north to south and gets no blocking. That's a defensive end, comes through clean and flattens the running back, and he's down. And we've got an injured player. We're going to take a quick commercial break. We'll be right back. You're watching Semi, Semi Pro Live. Live. is now a Shock affiliate. Get 15% off using code Semi Pro Live for things like this and this. Before you make a purchase, you can even use the Pfizer Visualizer and choose between your favorite colors and make the best decision on your purchase. Oh, and did we talk about the giveaways that they're sending? See you this weekend. On. my bad folks i thought we were still on commercial but uh here while we have a chance luckily i got a simulcast going on while we're on commercial for the injury this is the commanders going head to head against i got a t hey this is a new cameraman here so y'all don't get on my cameraman he's, he's doing a decent job right now Commanders are playing. I don't know who the commanders are playing, but the commanders are getting smacked right now. <laughs> we'll, for, we'll forego the uh, instant replay. We'll keep you guys up to date on the on the commanders game right now. And a solid run here after the timeout. Going to gain about four yards on the play. Let's catch back up to what's going on over in the Commanders. I tried to tell y'all I was cool like that, man. Let me move the scoreboard out the way so we can... Oh, and a safety in the Commanders game. And I don't know if that one is going to make it through the entire game. Looks like right now the commanders are being blown out.
39 to zero. Commanders getting blown out at home. Oh, they, they're supposed to have a mercy rule, so I don't feel bad for my film being this shoddy right now over there. 39 to zero, and it that's the beginning of the first half. They're on the same uh, time as, as us. On the right-hand side, you've got the Commanders going head-to-head -head against somebody who's whooping their ass. I don't know what team that's actually playing. It looks like a white and black team. On your left side of the screen, you've got Pitbulls in a battle for first place with East Texas. Let me flip the screen. I got a crack on my cell phone lens. <laughs> Shotgun formation. They've got a tight end in the game for the first time. It's a low snap. Justin picks it up. Okay, look at Justin with the mid-range pass. It's complete near the sideline. That's going to bring up a third down and very manageable for the Pit Bulls. Third down and what well, looks to be about three. Now, if I'm the Pit Bulls, I'm running the football, but I'm definitely not handing it off to that running back. He hasn't shown me the ability to get north-south. I'm going to leave this in Justin's hands, and we're running a straight quarterback power. There should be no question what the play call is on third down and three. They're going to jump out the huddle fast. Shotgun formation. And they're going to hand it off. And I, I hate the play. You give it to your, your 300-pound quarterback, and you get your damn three yards. They're going to lose a yard on that play. I mean, let's be real. That guy right there is about 170 pounds. So to, to expect him to get a first down on third and short is asking a lot. He's not even that type of running back. He's a scat back. Justin Big Ass need to go under center, get this damn football, and fall forward a goddamn yard. But we'll see what they decide to go with. They're already doing the wrong thing by being in the shotgun here. Tries to draw him off. Here goes Justin, he's gonna throw it. Why the hell didn't you run a quarterback sneak? The hell y'all doing? He 250 pounds, he needed a yard. Go in the center and fall forward. Y'all should still be on offense right now. Might have to come back. There's no reason that drive isn't going on right now. Well, shotgun formation. Crusaders with the short field. They're going to have the ball in their own 30. And this is just too much pressure being put on this defense, especially a defense that's built around a lot of veteran players. Takes a snap. They're going to go right up the middle. Oh, great pancake. That's nasty work right there. Hold on. We got to replay that one. Oh, man. I don't have it on replay. Oh, man. Well, let me get off of this, this BS Crusaders game. Dang, that was a nasty pancake block. Dude lost his helmet. My bad. I used to be fat -er back in the day, so you know, I, I was just very impressed by that. <laughs> That's the wrong game. My bad, folks. I got to get the instant replay line back up. Here we go. Hey, I didn't know I had 50, about 50 people watching. Appreciate y'all tuning in Saturday night. Oh, a high snap. Tyler picks it up. He's on the run. He's going to let it go. And he can't find a receiver. 
And that's one of the positive things when you have a quarterback like Tyler. His athleticism can just avoid disaster. Nine times out of ten, that's either a big-time loss or a turnover, but Tyler having that athletic ability just makes it so you're going to be able to continue this drive. No harm, no foul. Second down and ten. Man, Commanders, I'm going to say this about the Commanders. They, their jerseys are way too icy for them to suck like that. I mean, like, oh, my God, they are the best-dressed sorry team ever. They're going to have to resell them, them logos and, 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 and jerseys to a youth team. Get some, some 12 you guys that can really use those jerseys y'all got. Oh, nice cut by 22. Hey, I don't know what it is. I don't want to start no conspiracy. I just don't feel like they block as hard for 22. He be having a lot of play. <laughs> they be getting started off going so well. Wow, he blew the hell up. Let's get some comments from the folks at home. We got a lot of comments right now. Bro, I think they alert. Look, bro, they still underneath the tent, man. It's people underneath, like they can't just move around and go, and you know, the play moving, they still down there squinting their eyes from the opposite side of the field. I don't understand it. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, my bad, bro. <laughs> oh, the Rams, oh, the Rams are whooping the commander's ass 40 to zero right now. That is a true ass beating down there. Oh, Tyler on the run. And he'll take a sack. Oh, it's the toilet bowl of quarterbacks over there. Well, hey, we'll, we'll check in on the commanders. I want to see what that total score goes to. 49 to zero at halftime. They may be trying to put 100 points up right there, so we're going to have to check back and forth in on that game. I'm going to tell you the truth. I tell my son all the time, we had a game and y'all get to getting y'all ass beat by like, my son is only going to lose like 40 to zero. At 40 to zero, I'm taking my son home. I don't care what kind of lesson you're trying to teach my kid as a coach. I ain't got time for that. My son has a father. I'll teach him a lesson. We don't got to go lose 150 to zero to learn a lesson. That's all I'm saying. Your worst, your worst loss in life shouldn't be as a kid. <laughs> life gets harder after nine years. That's what's going on right now. They're, both offensive lines are struggling. Surprisingly, I will say the Pitbulls offensive line is blocking a little bit better and they're losing. That's crazy. Right up the middle. And what I like about the Crusaders is despite not getting the type of blocking that they want, it's their commitment to the rushing game. They're getting the same exact type of blocking up front. They're just more committed to running the football. 30 seconds left to go here in the third. And the pit bulls are still in this game, but the, the sideline has gotten a little flat here. Defense needs to make a play. If they can make a play right here, hold this score. Still plenty of time left in this ball game. Only a one score difference. Takes the snap, hands it off. Oh, big time stop. And that's what they needed. I would tell you what down it is, but I can't see because of the tent. You know, we, we've got no idea what's going on. Hey, can, 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 we, can we take down the tent, please? Is the tent necessary? I don't even know what down it was. Well, look, now we find out after we switch sides, uh, it, it was second down, so they'll have two more opportunities. Huh?
Oh, anyway, wait, this is semi-pro live. We freestyle. I gotta ask you this. Why you not on the field, big dog? You see them out here struggling with this. This is what's sitting behind me in the stands. As you watching these fools out here struggling. <laughs> you said what? Oh, okay. You play for the owners. <laughs> I'm just saying, I had to swing around. I'm like, bro, what's going on, bro? They need help. You sitting up here. <laughs> All right, we'll float down to the other end as much as we can. All right, we've just started the fourth quarter of action. 15 minutes left to go here in the ball game. Crusaders with the football on what looks to be their own 20 yard line. Big time stop by the pit bulls on that last one's gonna bring up second down. It looks to be about 10 yards. Lawson in the game, Tyler at quarterback. Takes the snap, pulls it out. He's gonna throw it. Incomplete pass, but it... was there laundry on the field? Let's see. I don't see a flag. So that's gonna bring up third down. And that's kind of the problem when you try. This is not a knock on either quarterback, but when you're letting the quarterback call a large portion of your plays, he's going to call a large portion of pass plays. He's the quarterback. He's supposed to want to throw the ball. They should have at least had two rushing plays during the course of this series in the red zone. I don't care what you do. If I'm inside of the 30, I'm going to run the ball at least twice if I've got four opportunities. Now this is third down. Lawson's in the game, but the defense pretty much knows he's passing. This is going to put a lot of pressure on Tyler because the defense knows they can get a roll. They're going to give it to Lawson. Great play call by the coach, and he's in for the score. Well, shout out to Dave. They said he had a middle school playing uh, play call. Touchdown. Let's get this instant replay. Oh, man, I ain't got the replay. I was doing too much. Oh, well, let me let me move this touchdown logo down here so I can get to it more easily. Well, I would have had to replay. I was too lazy. We'll check in on that commander's game here momentarily. And at the rate that the offense is going, it's going to be tough for the pit bulls to come back in this one. And I'm gonna tell you what's missing from the Pitbull's offense, they need some structure. Pulls it out, drops it in. Nobody touched him, he should still be able to walk in. Nobody touched him. And the ref blew the whistle. Hey! <laughs> hey, these referees terrible. The ref blew the whistle like we playing youth football. If these are NFL rules, nobody touches you. You can just get up and keep running. And they blew the they blew the call dead. We'll, we'll take a quick commercial break. Let's get a word from Shock Sports. Use code semi-pro live. You'll get 15% off your full order. That includes their visors, uh, apparel, shock tape, and all a number of products that says shock back up. Semi-pro live is now a shock affiliate. Get 15% off using code semi-pro live for things like this and this. Before you make a purchase, you can even use the Pfizer Visualizer and choose between your favorite colors and make the best decision on your purchase. Oh, and did we talk about the giveaways that they're sending? See you this weekend.
Hey, you good. Floods and levels, bro. You good. Now they're going to beef with each other. So just, you know, you got 15 minutes. You're only down two scores. You score a touchdown on this drive, you're back in the game. You score a second one, it's tied up. It's only 14-0. to They missed a two-point conversion. This is a very, very winnable game. And they had a penalty. So, <laughs> so you're going to get good field position. Dre. So you're going to stretch out my t-shirt instead of putting on your jacket. Hey, look at my nine-year-old son. That is my shirt he got on. It's exactly what they needed. Great field position. Justin, mid-range, Justin. It's open for you, mid-range. Hey, when I'm telling Justin this stuff, I played with Justin, and I was Justin's head coach on the pit bulls before. Justin has a strong arm. He's in love with the deep ball. He's very good at throwing the deep ball. But the mid-range is the gap. He's like, he's like, what's the old boy who played for the Ravens, the white dude, the tall white dude played for the Ravens? What's his name? The tall white boy for the Ravens before Lamar Jackson won the Super Bowl. He's Flacco. He's a Flacco. Oh, Flacco's movie. never that good. No, I'm saying he is Flacco. He's got a great deep ball. He can throw deep ball all day, but he can't throw no mid-range. He ain't going to hit no slants. And the defense is leaving that open for him. So that's what's open. Pistol formation. Three receivers to the left. Look, there we go. Short range. And this is another thing he's messing up. Run the ball. 22 dives. That, that's that's from the infiltration right here. Yeah, now this was crazy about this. You running hitches. They running cover two, so the safety got safety help. So he's cool with walking up and running bump up. So you're never gonna get any hitches until you do mid range passes. Thirteen minutes left to go in the ball game. Still plenty of time. They've got great field position and a flag in the worst possible time. False start against the offense. All I'm going to say is Justin is my boy, but I mean, who gets Tim Tebow and they only run the ball one time with him. Like, like you got to tote that rock. And off. Look, another pass play. He's going to throw it deep again. The problem with this style of football is that you live and you die by this deep ball. And when you're getting it, the, getting it, the going is good, but on the tough days, Let's go ahead and uh, get some more comments from the folks at home. No team can block. <laughs> it is the fourth quarter. We are in the fourth. We are at two hours and three minutes of film time. I'm going to have to start charging hourly. I should have. <laughs> Next time you ask me what price is, $100 an hour. Oh, yeah. oh, the tent's got to go, man. Look, it's still up, man. It's still up. We only got 12 minutes. Y'all want to, they're going to turn the lights off. They're going to be trying to pack that joint up, man. What are you saying, bro? I got beef with the tent, man. I got beef with the cowboy luxury session. You know what I'm saying? And the luxury seats.
<laughs> you ain't pay them team fees. Well, that's why a lot of that mismatch uniforms is going on right now. Let's see that again. And that's gonna be a turnover, but that's real close to the first down. If he got credit for catching it, it should have been a first down. Let's see it again. They're calling this a turnover. And pay attention to where he catches it. Oh, they're gonna say he didn't catch it. He wasn't inbound, but I couldn't see because of, you know. Oh, the defense late on the field. This is just a two touchdown game. It's 10 minutes, 42 seconds left. And we'll have a timeout. Well, while we had got a little bit of time, let's go ahead and try and check in. It's a delay a game. I'm gonna try and check in with the commander's game. Commander's getting blue the hell out. Let's tune in. Commander's over on the right. I wish Tim would leave the scoreboard up. Shout out to Tim. He helped me out, but if he, I wish he would zoom in when I make these damn highlight tapes. My bad, I just realized I just said the D word and there's a whole little blonde little girl in front of me. <laughs> Let me calm down, we are not all the way semi-pro. <laughs> Still got the youth in the building. Oh, biggest play of the game. Look at the tent. Look at the tent ruin the highlight. And they're right back in the game. I can get this replay. Just the end of it. Big time play. And the Pit Bulls are back in the game due to their defense making a big time play. And we got a ball game again, 14 to six. Who said it? I mean, okay, okay. Why did I, I am the former, I am the former Pit Bulls head coach. You know, last time they were this good is when I was, you know, we were number twenty in the nation. They, they tried to erase me from history. The only other time the Pit Bulls were ever ranked was underneath me. <laughs> Oh, and the kick is blocked. Eight point ball game, 10 minutes, 28 seconds left here to go. Well, let's get some comments. That's a, a shocking turn of events here. Pitbull's right back in the game. And it's because of this man right here. He's dead after that. He gave, hey, he gave him all he had. And that's all you can ask for your team. He only ran about 60 yards, but to him, he feels like he definitely ran 100 right now. But it was only about 60, big dog. Now about a 40 yard dash. <laughs> Well, just like an old semi-pro player, his hamstring is acting up after that big time play. Well, if you had to go out on a hamstring, at least you did it after a touchdown. You gotta think about it. When it was zero to zero, all the other people that got hurt, it was for no reason. They just wasted their time getting broke off. You gotta be real about it. You come to the game and it's zero to zero and you get hurt, they broke you off for free. That's all I'm saying.
Like, there's possibly somebody at that Commanders game who's going to be walking around with a limp all week, and they lost 40 something to zero. So, you know. And the kick. Oh, a booming kick. And that looks like that's out the back of the end zone. We got a touchback. I'm just saying, you know, pit bulls, I, I spend most of my time standing behind quarterbacks at youth games. I know everybody's youth sports offense. I can put them all together and be your offensive coordinator together. But I'm going to need like $200 a game, please. <laughs> that's, how, that's how much I'm making filming. So, you know, if you place that money, I'll come down and get it right. Hey, CT did play for them in 03, and it's crazy. <laughs> Y'all can't get my boy some, walk, some salt? He didn't put you back in the game. We ain't gonna get the man no salt water, man. We ain't got no pickle juice. <laughs> They'll show you how they really love you after you build them back in the game. <laughs> Man, finna be limping all week. Can't nobody get my dog no water, bro. They like, no, we ain't sharing our water. But that's what happens when you drink tequila in the parking lot before the football game. You know, stuff like that kind of just happens. I know for a fact at least 20% of the players on the field are under the influence of alcohol right now. That is a fact. It's non-disputable. And then there's probably another 20% that are under the influence of some other things, but we're not going to discuss that right now because we don't condone that. The snitching portion. All right. 14 to 6. You got a ball game here. Tyler at quarterback. My bad, y'all. Tyler got me with the fake that time. Great play. Man, we got a lot of comments, man. Hey, what you talking about, Donnie? I can't confirm or deny what people are under the influence of. I just know there's a lot of influential people out here. They hold sway on people. This game is going on forever. What's crazy, they was running the clock too much in the first half, and it's like they're trying to make up the time in the second one. <laughs> Big time play. Let's see the replay. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, number three is DG. He fast. I'll give him credit. He, st he hasn't lost that much speed. But I think he knows he can't. You know, the difference between him and five years ago is that he can't 20 plays of running back. Uh, you know what I'm saying? You got to go to work in the morning. <laughs> We'll have to see it. If, if he say if he can give him 20 plays in that during the playoffs, that's nasty. I'll take that. The score is 14 to 6. That boy do need an IV. <laughs> Solid run. <laughs> hey, 
Hey, look, he made it off the ground, bro. My dog, number one, he all right. He back alive now. I don't know where he at. Oh, okay, he over here. He's alive, you know what I'm saying? He back walking. He, he recovered eventually. Now the score is 6 to 14, bro. That is the correct score. Let's go, y'all. We need a score. <laughs> Fourteen to six, man. And the snap right up the middle. Let's see that again. I'm tired of Lawson being so, he, he keep getting up slow. Every time I've been out here, he getting up slow. Everybody be concerned, because everybody friends with Lawson. <laughs> you all right, dog? Man, he all right, he do this every play. He don't even have his helmet strap. <laughs> I love how the Crusaders are just very business-like on this drive. Like they have a lot of confidence they can do what needs to be done. Oh, a fumble! Two turnovers in the fourth quarter. And the Crusaders are shitting this one up right now. Look how high that ball flies. And that's the definition of shit in the bed. Game wrapped up. They were driving down the field so business-like. Yeah, the referee, I mean, the, the security thought they were playing throw up tackle, man. Wow, what a turn of events. Pitbulls with a chance after being down for the majority of this game. Very, very sloppy play for the most part. And they're sitting here in the fourth quarter with an opportunity to win this ball game. And, and 20 minutes ago, I would have thought that was so unlikely they'd be in this position right here. Justin needs to run something simple, something short. There you go, another deep ball. They're not going to give it to him. They're going to call that one uncatchable. And my thing is, if you run a flood concept, you'll have this deep concept. You'll have people crossing. This is the first critique. Why do they have more than, why do they have three athletes going deep? You got three players going over 20 yards each play. Those are all deep passes. No, no, I had the score wrong earlier, big dog. It's 14 to six. I had the score wrong. Oh, he put him on his ass. They was mad about that. I would've been mad about that too. That nigga hit the ground hard. Look at his, his whole homie. That might've been his brother, you don't know. You know what I'm saying? If, if my homie got dead like that. That was the equivalent of somebody saying, get the strap, <laughs> broke my ankle. <laughs> Now what are the bubbles? Get the strap! <laughs> and then they're gonna get 15 yards extra. And this puts them on the other side of the 50 yard line. We got five minutes, 19 seconds to go. And if they lose this game, the Crusaders shit at this one away. They had this wrapped up. We got five minutes, 19 seconds. The clock has stopped right now. Yeah, it is. 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 
I ain't gonna lie, bro. Uh, my knee hurts right now for the way he got crossed. I was like, what is this, basketball? What kind of sh What is this? <laughs> Hey, look, if I get juked out like that, I hope my homie try to fight too. He should have been doing that the whole day. I'm just saying, Justin, I'm, don't take this as any hate, Justin, before I say it. But if you're going to be completing under 10 passes, your ass better run. All right? It's called the Tim Tebow effect. We all watched it. He did it at Florida. He did it all the way to a Heisman, nigga. If you can only, if you only gonna complete ten passes a game, you are gonna have to tote that rock, bro. <laughs> That's just life. You can't be no pocket passer completing ten passes a game. Say what you want about Justin. My dog is clutch. I still don't retract my statement that if you only gonna complete 10 passes, <laughs> you still gonna have to run the ball though. But that was clutch. You see how you see how when his timing is any pass that he's thrown after five seconds been incomplete or intercepted. Oh, Anything that he's thrown under three seconds is incomplete. That means you need to shorten the damn route. It's <laughs> as simple as that. And if your quarterback's not going to shorten the route, then the coach got to shorten the route constantly giving in the plays. <laughs> Takes the snap, swings it over. Hey, if y'all keep the 10 up, I'm going to miss the game winning touchdown. It's up to you, it's your highlight. It ain't no rain, no sunshine, but hey. I just want the people on the live to know, you know, I don't run this tent right here. You know, when you see the game winning play, it get blocked by this tent, you know what I'm saying? The VIP section had to be protected from the moonlight. You know what I'm saying? Mama Carol at the gate. Oh! Uh, we got two minutes and 35 seconds left to go here in the game. RPO, man. Oh. Yep. Justin, he, Justin need to just take this in himself. This is five yards, you got about two minutes left. Justin, you should take this over. This is the time for you to go LeBron right now. I don't even want to see no throw. What you throwing? Just run it, just run it. Just run it. Oh my God. But that's what I'll say, in semi-pro, some of these coaches put too much control in the hands of the quarterback. He shouldn't be making that decision. You should have called a quarterback power. It's second down, we got two minutes left. We're going to get some yards on this play. We're going to get some yards on every play until fourth down. Time check. They've got two minutes. The clock is hot. I'm going to go ahead and, and synchronize my clock with the one inside the stadium. That's the two-minute warning. Well, let's get caught up on these comments while we got a chance. Somebody said, don't worry, about to be a tenth interception coming. <laughs> Somebody said, 80 and 1 got their jerseys confused. Hey, I'm not out here for that. <laughs> That's gold right there, though. That was funny. <laughs> hey, bro, why y'all on number 80 so hard, bro? <laughs> Get off of that bed, bro. Dang. <laughs> it's like the fifth comment. 
<laughs> say bro wearing a jersey dress. Oh man. But he warm though. It's breezy out there though. He looked like he warm. It's toasty out here though. That was y'all. Y'all talking about him. You know what? I hope he didn't pay his team fees. That's why he got that jersey. You know what I'm saying? He, he ain't got his, his fees. And when his fees in next week though, he's gonna be icy. Y'all need you better hate on him while you can right now. Anyway, back to the action. Shotgun formation. Three receivers. He needs to just run this. It's third down. He's going to throw it in the air. And he caught it. Is it an interception? Hold on. We got to see the replay. Ah, uh, okay. And a flag on the sideline. I don't know what just happened. There was a flag over here. Well, we couldn't see because of the tent. There was a flag over there by the tent somewhere, but you know. And you know what, before this game ends, I do want to give credit to this Pitbulls defense. This has been a great performance. They only gave up 14 points against one of the higher scoring teams in the league. Fought them tooth and nail. And that is an issue. It's two minutes still on the clock. So I'm getting hurt. Well, they never stopped the clock the first half. I think they're trying to even it out. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Now, you know, you always got to do an autopsy after a loss. My autopsy is it's not that bad of news for the pit bulls. I think they can bounce back. There's big lessons they can learn, but they've got to put more structure around Justin. Justin can get the job done if you give him an offense that brings out the things that he does best. So you know he can throw the deep ball. You know he can run the football. Why are we not doing any quarterback powers? Why aren't we doing more play action? Things that are going to put your young quarterback in position to make plays. And that's just some, an adjustment I hope they're able to make going into next week. But I haven't seen any slants. He didn't throw one slant today. He didn't throw one crossing pattern. He didn't throw one out route. He didn't throw one stop route. So that lets you know the type of routes that are being ran. Everything pretty much was either a go route or a seam. And it's hard to win football games when, you know, 90% of your passing routes are go routes and seams. You got to be able to attack the middle of the field and got to have a mid-range passing game. Oh, they got challenges? Hey, I do got a live stream going. We can get the feel. I don't know what the what the challenge is about. Are they challenging the flag? We got the commissioner out here right now. How's it biased commentary? Actually, the Crusaders paid me to be here. Ha ha, you was talking that shit. You didn't know. You didn't know the Crusaders had paid me to be here. I didn't have to give people no love, but it was a good defensive performance. I mean, it's four, it's a two, te it's the two best teams in the league, and it's fourteen to six. That's a good defensive performance, no matter how you put it. And plus, he had a good game. This is the crazy part, of semi pro. Right? Bro, you had a good game. You really aren't one of the people who should be trying to fight right now. <laughs> Go to the field, take a shower. <laughs> Can we? I'm just saying they got to get some stops and slants and some crossing patterns going in this offense. Uh, they got one minute fifty six seconds, and they've got a stoppage going on on the field with the referees. Yeah, it's still a winnable game. I mean, it's under two minutes. If they can get a stop right here, they've got the Crusaders. Uh, they're, they, I think they're on their own maybe 10-yard line. They still have enough time, but you know how it is in semi-pro. People lose focus. They get emotional. 
this is still a very winnable game for the pit bulls it, it, it seems like they've kind of decided in their mind that they don't want to you know <laughs> keep going with it actually i think the pit bulls have all three of their timeouts like i think this is a very winnable game right now it's one minute 56 seconds i believe it's three timeouts they at least have two timeouts for sure and now after this penalty, they're gonna walk it off. Well, actually, hold on. This is the referee with the football, my bad. Yeah. Don't just be watching me when I do semi-pro games. Make sure you book me for your kids. I got free Adidas stuff and all kinds of stuff for the kids. You're missing out. I like y'all kids better than y'all anyway. You got to think, when I'm filming y'all, I already know that you guys are shitty people. Your kids still have hope to grow into great individuals, you know, mayors and governors and stuff like that. I know I can give up on y'all. It's over. This is what y'all gonna be. <laughs> they gotta have some. Hey, y'all ain't got no timeouts? How you ain't got no timeouts? The clock only stopped like twice. <laughs> I don't even understand that. I ain't seen no timeouts, but they telling the people they ain't got no timeouts. I think the refs is just like, we've been out here for two and a half hours, we've been to go home. Like, actually, we're, we are, we're, we've been live for two and a half hours now in two minutes. Appreciate you, my brother. Hey, man, we got to save the free stuff for the kids, but I do got the discount codes for y'all. We'll get you a discount on your visors and stuff like that. Well, randomly, this gives Sid a chance to play superhero. I really don't see, for some reason in my soul, I feel like the Crusaders are gonna come out here and try to throw the ball. I don't know why. It's semi-pro. Folks aren't just good at winning the game and going home over here. <laughs> Theoretically, they only gotta run two plays and that should be the end of the game. Hey, you know it's very possible for an ADR fade to occur right now. DG already has a touchdown, so we know we don't. <laughs> I gotta have a stone. <laughs> I gotta get the ball real quick, cut. Gee, bro, we can't lead the game. I gotta get one more ADR fade, cut. <laughs> and look, they gonna throw it. <laughs> oh, he gets tipped. Oh, intercepted. Oh my God! Big time play. And if it's roughing the passer, that might wave it away, but the Pit Bulls have the ball right now. Wow. That's the most semi-pro play call ever. Oh, my God. That was pure. I like it. I like the play call. That was pure semi-pro. You got to be who you are. Don't change for these people. <laughs> got to be who you are. I told you we was going to get an 80-yard pain. And this game is not always oh, pure entertainment. This is why semi-pro needs to get paid. Where else you gonna get? You can't get entertainment like this in organized football. You can only get action like this at a throw-up tackle game 
in the back of your mama apartments. You ain't had no ending like this to a football game since 96 when we was at the Creek of Brook Hollow. <laughs> That was live. I'm excited. Very exciting. This is an interesting game. <laughs> Shout out to the pit bull. This is exciting football. They deserve some fans for that. Somebody need to come bless this gate, man. I'm gonna have to share. I'm gonna share this on the youth sports group. This was entertaining. <laughs> Who's calling these plays, bro? Hey, look, this is the game is on simulate on all Madden, bro. We don't really know who <laughs> You didn't have a choice. The computer told him he had to pick that one, bro. <laughs> what does it take to be number one? Common sense football. <laughs> With the number one seed in the league on the line. That's crazy. I mean, that's crazy work right there, bro. That's nasty. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look! If any of y'all over there coach you football, you know you can't coach my son. Don't you hop in my, don't you hop in my inbox talking about where Drip gonna be at in the fall? Your ass cannot coach him after that. <laughs> what is that? That is the most semi pro. Hey, you know what? Tyler was trying to. Hey, Tyler got money on the game. He was trying to keep the under right. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> what is the betting line on this game that they got the ball back? Oh, and then the clock goes dead. Hey, bro. <laughs> it's so semi-pro. <laughs> it's so semi-pro. I love it. They knew I was coming back, and they wanted me to have a real authentic experience when I came back. You know what I'm saying? I like, I like y'all too, bro. My dogs miss me, bro. <laughs> we lost the clock and the time, bro. Dog, do you feel me, bro? It's so semi pro. I love it, bro. I can't even hate on it. <laughs> we don't know how much time is left on the clock, bro. <laughs> We're going to play it out, though. I bet the pit bulls going to keep going until the four downs is gone. They don't care about <laughs> We don't know. I think it was like second down. Now we don't know how much time is left. It was like a minute or something. It was, right? It's beautiful. Y'all don't hate on it in, in the comments, bro. This is beautiful. You feel me? The NFL got a script. You think the TUFL ain't got our script just not as good. We, don't, we ain't got money like that. <laughs> hey, all I did, hey look I just got cool with the commissioner of the league so I ain't gonna say my last joke <laughs> I know he had nothing to do with the, the fine people at the TUFL <laughs> with the snap they said hey they wanted to beat my record cause he, oh my god and he scored <laughs> He caught it. He caught it. We don't know how much time was left. Yo, they need a two-point conversion. Semi-pro, bro. We got to sell tickets to this. Man, I'm breaking this game. I'm about to make a highlight tape. Somebody send me $20. We got to get some fans here. <laughs> this is better than the XFL. <laughs> Not skill-wise, but entertainment value. <laughs> we competitive value, man. <laughs> Say what you want about the coaching and quality and people being out of shape and the fact that half the players are drunk and that's why they're getting cramps, but Ignore all of that. We got a one-point ball game here. And, and who called that timeout? Because I was just told that Pitts had no timeout. But we don't know how much time on the clock, so I'll just be calling it. How you going to tell me that I don't have a timeout when you can't tell me how much time I got left? You know what I'm saying? That's all easy. Just making points.
Bro, hold on. Let me throw that Semi Pro Live logo up there, man. You know what I'm saying? I want to be associated with this. Let's throw that logo. Surf or swim, baby. <laughs> you got to do one because you'll definitely drown trying to keep up with this Semi Pro shit. <laughs> And the commissioner's here now on the sideline. We got a commissioner right here. And we, we don't know how much time is left. The game may be officially over. I don't know if the Crusaders get the ball back again. Semi-pro. Semi pro. And we of course we of course we have a flag. Of course we have a flag. We're gonna have a three hour semi pro game here and we're still in regulation. We haven't even got the overtime. We're at two minutes and forty seconds of filming time right now. I love it. I'm not gonna lie. Pitbulls playing with purpose. No, bro. Uh, Crusaders weren't. They decided that it was over. <laughs> An 80 yard pass when you're up a touchdown. I don't understand it. <laughs> hey, DG, don't get mad at me, bro. I just, that's what I imagine happened. I know you didn't really say that shit, but. <laughs> oh. oh my God. Oh my God. Tie ball game. And they won't let me go home. Oh, he dropped it. Oh, and that's going to be the end. That's going to be the end. Uh, and I, I officially have to put that one on coaching. I'm, I don't want to throw any slugs. I don't know who's the offensive coordinator, but that was a poorly coordinated game. Don't know how much time is left, but shout out to the Pitbulls defense, man. They played a, a, one hell of a game, and they did everything they possibly could to keep this team in this game all the way to the end here. One point game. Go, Daddy. Uh, this was entertaining as hell. Most entertaining semi. This is the most entertaining semi pro game of the year. Somebody paid for the scoreboard to fall off. It could have happened. I can't confirm nor deny it. <laughs> Hey, he might have a shift he got to make here. <laughs> Semi-pro. <laughs> he might have to go to work. <laughs> he might be, head, might be heading to FedEx, man. Let him make it. Hey, look, I don't care. I want to see this matchup again. Hey, commissioner. <laughs> we don't care about the seeding. Let's just get this again like in the semifinals. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, it, this was good for semi-pro football, bro. Y'all did something good for the game right here. This is a good game. You can take some pride in that. It was so much. The football 101 was so weak today that it made like super entertaining football. Oh yeah, it is 14-12. It is 14-12. You're right. Hey, we gotta put the we gotta put the young people down here. One of the fans out here support, supporting the pit bulls. That's probably why the pit bulls came back. They upgraded their fans.
<laughs> and here comes the onside kick. Bless the gate, man. Can we get these guys $20 a game? Can we pay for gas money? Was this not worth gas money to the field? That's all I'm saying. Look at the effort. He probably got to go to work tomorrow. <laughs> I told y'all when I became semi-pro live and left to the kids, I took semi-pro with me. Y'all earned it back tonight, man. Y'all can have it back. Y'all semi-pro too. It's no longer adult recreational football. Semi-pro. Best semi-pro game of the year. And then there was flags. So it's going to be a winnable game. Oh, my God, bro. I can't even keep up with the comments. And we don't know how much time is left on the clock. It's just the greatest semi-pro shit ever, bro. Oh, ball's in the air. Quarter in front of the tent, and we couldn't see nothing. Ten in the way. <laughs> it could have been a live highlight. We don't know. <laughs> Look at all this action. Can we get the tent taken down? This is the greatest semi-pro game ever. Can we get a view of the corner of the end zone? Y'all can't slide it back to the track. Dang. Y'all being petty. Hey, ref, how much time we got left, buddy? Hey, ref, throw a flag because of the tip. <laughs> they clouding the visibility. <laughs> Goddamn tip. <laughs> And the catch. We don't know how much time is left. They don't have any timeouts. It's just whenever the refs decide to tell us it's over. Bro, I hate that tent, bro. Me and that tent got beef. Look, they're going to throw it to this side because that's the wide side of the field. Don't know what happened. He's running. Let's see it again. Looks like an incomplete pass. Let's see it. And I couldn't see because, you know. What's up, homie? This is my co-anchor right here. She's been holding it down. She's been out here soldiering for three hours. I think that's why the pit bulls in the game, they upgraded their fans. Their fans wasn't this cute last year. It's semi-pro. I'm going to find a way to make it about the kids. Hey, it's the longest minute ever. The clock went off with a minute and six seconds. And the ref declares the game over. And the Crusaders win the best semi-pro game ever. Thank you, you know what I'm saying? It's 300 plus comments, bro. This was hella entertaining. I ain't running out of time on the flag. Hey, y'all better not fight. This is the greatest semi-pro game ever. <laughs> Well, let's run through the rest of these comments. 30 yard flag. Oh. 80 haven't moved yet. Chill, bro, get off him. He is right there though. He wasn't there. <laughs> Just broke. Get off of that man. He supported his team through the whole thing, bro. I don't know what just happened. 
<laughs> but look, I'm about to go. Here's a last minute word. Let's get some love for my sponsors real quick, man. Big shout out to Max Sporting Goods. Go to MaxSportingGoods.com. Enter code SEMIPROLIVE to get 15% off of your full order. Kane's Chicken of Euless, Texas. Go to Kane's Chicken. Uh, the one right off of 121. I don't have a discount there, but show them some love. They showed me some love. We got rainwater. If you want to clear, he was at. He had a better vantage point than me. He, I wasn't brave enough to walk my ass up there. So <laughs> I hold on. You know, he might have a little bit. If you want to check hey, out rainwater, he called a good game. That's an instant classic, man. Y'all subscribe to his channel, man. man. Appreciate the love, man. Under Armour, under the lights series. We got young kids that are trying to get involved, dip their toe into youth football. Under the lights is a great program to start with. Free game podcast. I think we're supposed to go live tomorrow. Don't live from Fort Worth, Texas. Well, Forest Hill, Texas. And once again, my name is Channing Humphrey. I was on commentary for you guys today. Thanks for everybody who tuned in. And if you're looking for highlights, clips, or any of these moments from the game in 4K so you don't have to screen record, uh, inbox me directly on Facebook or feel free to hit me, call me directly or send me a text message. We'll get you squared away. And before we go, let's have a quick word from Shock Sports. Semi-Pro Live is now Shock Affiliate. Get 15% off using code Semi-Pro Live for 15% off. And this. Before you make a purchase, you can even use the Pfizer Visualizer and choose between your favorite colors and make the best decision for your purchase. Oh, and did we talk about the giveaways that they're sending? See you this weekend. Well, hey, big shout out to Shock Sports. Gotta play that theme music. Well, that will conclude our broadcast. My name's Channing Humphrey. You've been watching Semi Pro Live. And until next week, we'll be back with all the action right here. Yeah.